wait is finally over. Sonic Team's newest game is finally here. Sonic Frontiers. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it another Sonic Forces or is it the next Sonic Generations? Is the meta era still here or are we finally entering another golden age for Sonic? I recently played the game on stream for four hours straight and here are my first impressions of the game. Starting off, right off the bat, you get into Green Hill Zone like usual, but something's different. This is clearly not what the actual world is. It's a cyberspace stage. We'll get into that later. These are very important for progressing through the actual stages. The controls feel slightly off, but luckily, once I get out of this stage and into the actual new frontiers, the controls feel fine. Since the cyberspace stages give you a set speed and just like set abilities, it makes it hard to like cope with it for such a short instance. So it's always a bit wonky in the cyberspace stages, which thankfully that's not the majority of the game. And they're not actually terrible. Most of them I did enjoy quite a lot. They're nice little speed challenges. They're, they're just nice little side challenges. The actual frontier and just honestly the entire game in general looks miles better than what we saw in that initial trailer that everyone made fun of. It is honestly a beautiful game the combat is absolutely stunning this is the best combat system in any sonic game period hands down there's multiple different forms of combos you can go left right all over the place you really feel like you're sonic just battling the hell out of things just beating the shit out of people it's amazing. You feel like a complete badass doing these moves. And you can get really creative with how you attack targets. One nitpick I did have, however, was when you would homing dash things. Now, in Forces, Generations, and I think other games as well, just like basically the entire boost saga, besides Unleashed, maybe, I'm not sure I remember. When you homing dash something, Sonic will like just linger in the air for a little bit. Actually, this this was a problem in 06, I'm remembering just now. And it just kills your momentum. And in the adventure games, you could chain homing attacks together just ex on instantly, just instantly. But I think it's actually tied to your speed stat or something, because as I played the game outside of cyber stages, which obviously take upgrades away because you're doing like a time challenge, you're not, it's not, it's like completely separate from the game. I'm chaining homing attacks faster and faster together. So I think it's actually tied to a stat, which is completely fine, honestly. If you're gonna make an RPG little element for Sonic, there's not much you can really play with besides abilities and just your speed stat and damage and defense i guess because your defense is a thing in this game you don't lose all your rings when you get hit uh, depending on how strong the hit is obviously if the giant robot steps on you you're losing all your ring but if you're just getting hit by a basic enemy or spikes and you have like 10 defense you're only gonna you lose like 50 rings and you can hold up to 400 at base you can increase your ring stat but i like to keep it at 400 because a i i love playing the glass cannon build i love no hitting things i play dark souls and Elden Ring, I just like, I, for some reason, I want to make the game as hard as possible. I am playing on hard mode, by the way, which honestly, I feel like if you are a Sonic veteran, you should play the game on hard mode. That is probably going to be the best experience for you. At least if you like a challenge, if you're just trying to drift through it and enjoy the story, it's perfectly fine to pick normal or easy. I'm not controlling you just, you know, do your own experience. Who cares? Right? So while we're on gameplay, Let's get into how the game actually works, like just the setup, the basic gist, at least for the first two levels, because that's what I've done. So you're put into this big open world, this beautiful island, right? And there's portals, there's areas with portals that you can do to get keys. And those keys unlock Chaos Emeralds. And once you get all seven Chaos Emeralds, you can fight the Titan of that island. In order to get into the portals to get the keys though, you need to get cogs. I know this is a lot of collecting. I mean, it's an open world game. What do you want? But it's really a lot better than most open world games because you're playing as the embodiment of speed. You get from one side of the map to the other very quickly. And the map is really big. So you're going very fast, going on rails. It is such a thrill 
play. I feel like I'm playing the Ultimate Spider-Man game. Well, not Ultimate, but you know what I mean. The one from the PlayStation that everyone was like, oh my God, I love just moving around in this game. The gameplay is that good. The feel of Sonic is amazing. I love it. To get these cogs that you need to open the portals to get the vault keys to open Chaos Emeralds, you need to fight bosses, like little mini bosses around the map. Some of them are repeated, but there is a wide variety of them already. For example, there's one that's like a tower that you have to like knock down or even climb on top of if he does a specific move and then stomp on his head. Or like the sumo wrestler guy, which you, <laughs> this one's fantastic. You've seen it in the trailer already probably, but you literally have to bounce off the ring that he sets up himself and then knock him into the electric field that he's trying to knock you into. It's amazing, I love it. Each island also has a friend that you're trying to rescue and in order to communicate with him and also get chaos emeralds through him as well or her, you know, the first one's Amy. I don't know why I'm saying him. Second one's Knuckles. Sorry, spoilers. Oh my God. You need to collect their memories. For example, Amy's is a bunch of hearts put around the map and Knuckles is a bunch of medals. These memories are scattered all over the place. You can get them just from defeating basic enemies, doing little quests, just, just normal stuff. You get them, you've handed them very liberally. They don't, like, these are not the super important things. You just kind of get them. Oh, that was my phone. Did you hear that? I have an Android. Usually when you get these memories and talk to your friend, Amy Rose, uh, or Snuckles, etc., they'll be talking to these new things called Cocos, I think. I, I'm just literally, this is scriptless. I'm just going off my head. These Cocos, which remind me of Chows a little bit. I wish there were Chows that haven't been in the game yet, are like little just rock people. And these are also a collectible, by the way. If you see them across the map, you pick them up and then you see a bigger one and then you trade the little guys for speed or ring capacity upgrades. And then there's another tall one that gives you attack and defense upgrades for picking up the seeds. It's crazy. There's so much stuff to pick up in this game. I still don't know what the purple coins do. I'm assuming there's a shop now. It's like a whole lottery thing too. Anyway, with the little, little stone people, Knuckles and Amy are like helping these stone people. They can actually understand what they're saying. And usually the quest involving Knuckles or Amy is just helping the stone people like move places, helping them find somebody. And it's like really cute mini games that aren't that hard. And they, I did get annoyed a little bit for having to play it, but it was mostly because I was binging the game for four hours straight after just getting out of bed. I, I got a little annoyed at some things randomly. Well, overall it does add to the game. It does add fun to the game. Like it's a cute little, just like real relaxation time. Even though some of them did get pretty hasty, there was a timed one that was very, very tight on timing, honestly. I, I, I won it with three seconds left, but that might just be because I'm playing on hard mode. Anyway, let's get into the story. And if you've been watching this far, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button because, you know, I, it really helps me out. I'm still trying to make this a job. I would like to stream more, but in order to do that, I need to be able to quit my current job. I know I'm asking for a lot of privilege here, but whatever. Anyway, on to the story. So far, again, haven't finished the game. The story's been very, very good. I really like the characters. So I'm not gonna spoil the story really, but it's seemingly more mature. There's this new character, I forget her name. I don't even know if we know her name yet. That like girl, that's like a, a program, like hologram person you've seen in the trailers. She's working with Eggman. That's not really a spoiler. You literally figured that out at the start of the game. And she's just like trying to stop Sonic. She won't tell Sonic. She's being really annoying. And it's like, why won't you just tell him? You're like clearly kind of concerned for his safety, but just tell him what he's doing wrong. Why are you like telling him to leave? But then you consider, oh, okay, she's like literally a program. It, it does make sense that she wouldn't have that like social knowledge. Sonic is back to being the cool guy, but not like the comic relief cool guy. I hated in like modern Sonic, the fact that Sonic was so, so annoying. Like he was comedic relief, but to uh, oh, way max, like way too much comedic relief. Like he would take things not seriously. Oh, the world's ending. Ah, jokes, funny jokes. Now I know that's part of his personality and that's fine to keep it there but he never took anything seriously. Now in this game, he actually takes shit seriously. He's still like kind of jokey, but when shit hits the fan and he's like about to die, he's not cracking jokes about chili dogs. He, he's you know putting on that serious face and getting in there and beating the shit out of people. It's great. 
And Amy, I love Amy in this game. Amy is just serious. He's like, she's actually having a heart to heart conversation with Sonic instead of just being the annoying bitch of the game that she's been in like every other game. It's fantastic. These characters feel like they're actually human for once. It's been years since they felt actually human. I know they're not human, but you know what I mean? They're still human, you know, intelligent things. I don't know about Tails and Knuckles. I mean, I do know Knuckles. Knuckles was also fine. He wasn't overly stupid. Like he didn't seem stupid. He just seemed kind of like broad and brass. Like he, he actually listened to Sonic when Sonic was like, wait, stop, Knuckles, calm down. It's crazy. I, who made this game? Sonic Team, where was this? Did you finally just say, fuck it? Let's actually make a good game this time? I'm, I'm peeking the hell out of my mic. I hope <laughs> this is crazy. I, I'm literally blown out of my seat. This game is amazing. Buy it already. What are you doing? Music's also fantastic. And one more thing, this is a bit of a spoiler. So honestly, you can just click off the video now. Although please like the video if you do that, because you know, it'll ruin watch time if you click off before it's too late. Once you get to the Titan, I don't know what the other Titan is like what the final battle is with it. But the first time you go supersonic with all the Chaos Emeralds, right? It is so badass, bro. I thought the combat was good without the supersonic, but you go in versing this giant Titan, he's throwing hands with you, you parry him, you just knock him. He, he has a bunch of after images, punch the Titan and on top of it. Then he finishes him off by just plowing through his chest. It's so cool, dude. Oh my God, buy this game. Please, Sonic Team, you have done a fantastic job and I will buy every single DLC that comes out for this game. I am so, so happy about this product you put out. This, I don't even know what Sonic Forces is. I, I <laughs> Sonic Forces, never heard of it. This is Sonic, this is the face of Sonic. The, the, the Sonic Re Renaissance Golden Age has begun. No more bullshit. We want Sonic Frontiers. Good game. I'll see you in the next video. I upload daily again. Love you.